morning, YouTube. Morning, YouTube. And the bright, bright <laughs> light. I know. It's dark. just, it's a big circle. What am I going to do, you know? We're walking it's Daisy. Tough. It's a really pretty day, so Robert's going to ride. So I thought you'd at least get to see his pretty face for a second. Uh, if we can get up to this light. This for light those sucks. of you who don't know, I prefer the dark. And this light's quite disturbing to me. It's like the sun. Well, it's also, you know, for those of you who don't know, he'd prefer to ride a motorcycle, so that's what he's going to do today. Oh, yeah. I normally prefer that as well, actually, but... You prefer I ride a motorcycle? No. I did get to sleep in a whopping 30 minutes today, which was pretty stinking awesome, if I do say so myself. So, yeah, we're walking Daisy. Robert's about to leave. I may turn on Postmates and just kind of hang out at the house, and if it goes off, then leave. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really decided what I'm doing today. I just enjoyed sleeping in for 30 minutes. It was just, and I didn't sleep, I just kind of laid there, but yeah. there's something about that that's just quite lovely. Having to get up. Yeah, it's just nice. So I think I lost two of the five pounds I gained after that ridiculous food day. So that's good, right? That's good stuff. I'm on my way back down. Did you weigh this morning? I don't weigh this morning. I think I'm just like maintaining the the, the mid 190s. Yeah. 194, 196. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I haven't been doing real good lately. What did you have to eat? What are you eating at work these days? It's not what I eat at work. It's the snacks I get afterwards or stuff like that, like a Halo ice cream last night. <laughs> did you finish that? <coughs> no, there's like two bites left. It looked like it was in the trash to me. That may have come back and finished. <laughs> you don't even know if you finished the ice cream. See, see that's the That's problem. funny. <laughs> I can't keep track of the munching. Oh, no, that's horrible. So I need to quit it. I, I need to go back to... The steak was good last time. Yeah? And that can be, you know, grabbing anything or wrapping something in a tortilla and taking it home. Yeah, we ate... What, what kind of steak was that? It was, it was the largest T-bone I've ever seen. Yeah. It, was it was probably a four pounds. Thick quarter house. Yeah, it was crazy good. And we ate it, we ate maybe a third of it. And we got, uh, there was two in the package. And we um, were like, okay, well, these are huge. So we'll have one for the meal. And um, we didn't even get through half of it. I don't think. I, I think I would cut up the rest of it and make like a fajita meat or something. Heck yeah. It was so good though, oh my gosh. I literally didn't even need a knife. I just like ripped it apart with my with my fingers. It was so juicy. It was so good. Why well, thank you, baby. Oh, I enjoyed so making it. It was so good. Just salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Oh my I god. Used. That was so good. It was it was the ball. Yeah, it was awesome. So anywho, I will come back and check with you guys in a little bit after we get this walk done. And I, when I'm on my way to work, I will see you then. Hi, Robert. Good morning again. It's just me. Robert is living the dream, riding his motorcycle to work. He's in heaven. I ran a Postmates this morning. Um, I turned it on when I was at home, and it went off while I was looking at Facebook, and I ran out. It was a really long trip, though. I had to go all the way to, like, five miles south. And now another three, maybe even 10 miles south. So needless to say, uh, it's 6.30, I had to be at work at seven and I'm 20 minutes away. <laughs> so I turned it off, but I made 7.50, so it's like, eh, whatever. So, um, what do I have to tell you? Um, I, I haven't been doing really good with straight up intermittent fasting which is kind of interesting to me because I'm still drinking the coffee, but then I'm also eating. So like, that's a little pointless. So I need to just make a decision to either I'm gonna do coffee with butter or oil or whatever in the morning, or I'm going to eat. I don't think I should be doing both. Especially because it's not like I don't pick keto appropriate foods, you know? Like yesterday I had two sausage patties and then well, okay, let's take that back because we have these um, homemade potato chips at work and to be honest, I'm, I'm not really great at, at saying no to them. 
So yesterday I had homemade potato chips and some chicken strips. And I did have a little salad thing, but I didn't really like the way it tasted, so I didn't end up keeping that. I uh, yeah, it's like, dang it. Um, so, I mean, it was okay, but come on, 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 do it, if you're going to, okay. People who drive like they don't really have anywhere to go to irritate me sometimes, because it's like, it's in the morning, and you have somewhere to go, or you wouldn't be here. Okay, um, so, yeah, I, I'm sure I'm just need to pay attention, more attention to the number of carbs that I'm eating, and probably would lose weight so quickly if I would just stop eating potato chips. Weird. So, um, I think that's honestly what I just need to do, and even though I like them, I need to engage my brain instead of just assuming that if a craving comes into my head, I should just do it. Like, that's just not how you should do things. You should at least give a thought to what you're doing before you just go ahead and eat up, you know? And I find that if I if I allow myself a second to decide if that's really what I want, then I end up making the right decisions. But it's when I'm like, oh, I went chips, okay, let's go, before I even engage my brain, you know? That's when I end up hurting myself in the long run. So today I need to be here and engage my brain and and not just jump at every craving that comes my way. That's really it. I need to do that today. So if I can get that done, then I should be on track because I know what I should be eating and I know what my goals are. And so this whole instant gratification thing is dumb and I need to quit doing it because it's not helping me at all. It's not getting me to where I want to be. It's not making me feel good. Um, at least today, I you know, yesterday I don't think I had any sugar sugar. And so I don't feel like I'm in as much discomfort as I have been. Um, and the various issues of pain that I've had. So it would be really nice to, to not have pain. And the only way I'm going to get that is to follow the diet strictly. Because that is part of what I love about keto is, is the, the lack of pain. You know, feeling like I'm actually being nice to my body, you know, and it rewards me by not hurting in every joint, every finger, my neck, my back, you know. That would be nice. That would be nice to not have pain. And I know it's available, obviously, because I've done it before. I just, I have to be strict in order for that to be a, a byproduct of this whole thing, you know. We will aim for that. So I need to say no to potatoes. I need to say, obviously, no to bread. Oh, fantastic. I waited all this time to get around you, and you pulled out in front of me. Fantastic. So, yeah. No, maybe not. Maybe I can do it over here. I'm going to try it. Ah! You don't get to see me driving crazy. Driving crazy. That's why Robert doesn't let me drive, because... I am a little bit aggressive in this car because it goes up really fast and it makes me really happy. You know, it's kind of like why I don't ride my motorcycle on the highway because I have a little 250 that doesn't really have good pickup. And it's, I mean, obviously it's illegal to drive on the highway, but I get it because I don't want to drive on the highway where I can't control where I'm going very well. And if somebody tries to pull in my lane, I'd rather have the ability to zoom past them and really maneuver than be at their mercy kind of thing. Okay. So that's my goal today to try and either drink the coffee as the meal or eat as a meal, but to eat appropriately. <clears throat> Usually they have chicken thighs, so I might have the chicken thigh if they have that. And um, no breading, no potatoes. No wheat, obviously. No sugar. And let's just take one day at a time. Let's try today for the next meal while I'm at work to eat appropriately. I think when I weighed in this morning, I was 185 and some change. So I sure would like to be in the 70s before we take vacation, but that's in like 17 days. So. I'm going to need to be very diligent to get to where I want to be. 
it's really cool though because like when we went to Australia you know I had a goal of being under 200 and I think that we went and I was maybe 205 but you know that was 25 pounds ago 20 pounds ago and um, so it's like I know in my heart of hearts that I can get to the goal of you know 150 but it'll just whether or not I'm going to make it in the healthy wager time frame no clue absolutely no clue uh, I know I could but it would take some serious strictness on my part and the closer I get the more I'm, I'm kind of celebratory in my head which isn't the best place to be but um so it's a little difficult for me to just be really strict with myself, even though I know that that would be obviously the best thing for me and it would make me the happiest to, to get to where I want to be. But you know, it's also life and I also want to enjoy the journey and I want to, to live every day like it has value instead of always trying to work for tomorrow. I find that that sometimes gives me the wrong perspective. Because every day has something to offer and and if all I ever worry about is getting to that goal I might miss today and I don't want to do that so today I want to, to be strict with myself show myself I can do it encourage myself in that regard and go from there that's my plan so I hope you guys are having a good Tuesday um, I'm already halfway to work, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Made a little bit of money this morning. So, I know um, I got a lot of bills to look at. We still have no idea when Robert's going to get his first paycheck or if he's going to get paid for his vacation or another job. So, I'm really hoping that my palms start to itch because money's coming my way. It's weird how that actually does happen to me. I don't know. Anywho, that's my random thoughts for the day. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Later, guys. Thanks for watching.